be one of the most popular things to do right oh, now. Oh, totally, yeah. And that is to follow your family's history back generations to learn more about your ancestors and their stories. I mean, my family's so important to me. Oh, right? I feel yeah. so connected to them. Same. So I love this. And who better to team up with and take us on that journey than Ancestry? Yep, Ancestry. Yeah, we know them. They want to help people and their loved ones learn meaningful new things about their families and discover their stories. And both Drew and I recently took the Ancestry DNA test. We have no idea what the results are, uh, but here to take us through our results and our family histories is Ancestry's family historian, Lisa Elzey. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. So you, we did the DNA test and you ran it through your lab. What did you find out about us? So let's start with you. Let's start with your ancestry DNA results. Okay. So you come from seven different regions across the world. Your highest region is 47% from Norway. Then you have 19% of your DNA from England. Aww. And then 14% from Sweden and Denmark. And then 9% Finland. I'm like that Muppet that's herd, 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 herd. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We got a lot of Scandinavia. I did know yes. that. I mean, my whole family. You did? Yeah, Scandinavia. We eat things at Christmas like lutefest and things well, like that. that. Yeah. All Scandinavia. So, yeah. so I, I did know that just because my my grandma, my bunka, who watches every day, ninety six. Hi, bunka. She's a I proud know. Scandinavian. Yes. Well, she has yes. good genes. Yeah, she does. Where am I from? Okay, so Drew, your ancestry DNA results. Your highest percentage is from Ireland at thirty four percent. We were able to pinpoint the region your family's from in Ireland. It's called Munster. Munster is on the very western part of Ireland. Okay. And its remote location made it the perfect place for refuge for Irish outlaws who rebelled against their English leaders, so much so that even the city of Cork in that region was called Rebel City. It's in your DNA. Uh -huh. Everybody go get an ancestry kit right now. <laughs> percent of your DNA also comes from Eastern Europe and Russia. That's my mom. Yeah, yeah. my mom um, has that Hungarian blood and DNA, and yeah. I highly respect it. Yeah. So, Drew, you obviously know a lot about your family history already. Yeah. But we wanted to give you a few things through Ancestry just to add to your family story. Please. So we have a newspaper article that was kind of the last billing of your third great-grandmother, who was named Eliza Troutner Lane Kinlock. And the headline said, oldest actress in the world. Oh. She was 91 at the time of her death in Philadelphia. Go on, Ross, because I, <laughs> I, I just need to ponder my whole existence that makes so much sense. Yeah, rebel city over here. Okay, yeah. well, what did you find out about my family? You actually have a lot in common with your grandmother, Betty Louise Lenval. <gasps> That's Bunka. For instance, you were married last year to Wellington Garcia, May 2022. Look at us, yes, <laughs> and Drew with her flower. And I believe you had orchids. Like on the table, white orchids. Yes, white yeah. orchids. Uh -huh. Your grandmother was married in 1946, and we found out through a newspaper article about her wedding, she also had orchids at her <gasps> wedding. She, no! She had a white bouquet of orchids for her wedding. Oh, I'm gonna call her, Bunka, pick up the phone, I'm calling. <laughs> I mean, it all like comes full circle. Does it help you feel like it makes life make sense, like I'm from Rebel City level? Yeah. <laughs> So Ross, did you know that your namesake actually comes from your father's side of the family? No, I had no idea. <gasps> really? Your Wait. great grandfather's name was Ulysses Ross Matthews. Wow. And here's his World War II draft registration card <gasps> showing. Wait, you have, what? So there's... my dad, we never knew his, his father. And so this is all news to me. I asked my mom how she named me, and she just said she thought it was fun that it was one syllable. It'd be easy. Ross, done. <laughs> you guys, this is so cool. <laughs> Family history can be something that like, we can all do together. Yeah. I love bringing everyone from this show or out there in the world. I just want this to be a collective experience. Whoever you are is welcome here, and it also makes a very good gift. So we're giving our entire studio audience an Ancestry DNA kit. Aww. So, Lisa. 